Turn to the average temperature problem in your notes. I'm going to take you through the calculator work for making a scatter plot on the, on the TI Inspire. We're going to be use the, using the data that's in this table. We're not going to be typing in the, the names of the months, but the month numbers as our x values, 1 through 12, and our y values will be the average temperature for each month. I got this data off the internet, um, and it follows a sinusoidal pattern. The instructions for what I'm doing are also written on the, in the notes, so if you need to go back and refer to those, they'll help you. So the first thing we're going to do is open a new document and add a list and spreadsheets page. Start by just hitting the on button in your calculator, which will bring up this screen. And then you're going to want to go to a new document and push enter. Now, if you already have an old document on your calculator, it might say, do you want to save this? And unless you actually want to save it for any reason, just push no, and it will open a new document. And this page will pop up. And you'll want to add lists and spreadsheet. If for some reason you lose this page and you don't know where it is, um, it says press menu here and it will pop this it'll pop this page back up again. So add lists and spreadsheet and this will open um, a spreadsheet and you're going to want to add some data to this. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like after you've already added but first of all I'll get you started. So we want to have months so you'll want to go down to your keypad down here and type in the word months. So and then um, you're going to want to tab over to the top of column B and type in temp, because we're going to look at months and temperature. And then in the first column, you're going to want to type in the numbers 1 through 12 for your list. You can use the down arrow key or the enter button or the tab button to get from one cell to another. And then you're going to go, I'm going to go up and just show you then, of course, then you'll put in the months, so months that 25.5 for the first temperature, etc. And then you should end up with a list that looks like this, and it has 12 months. One thing to, to point out is when you get to the last entry and you typed in 30.9, make sure to actually push enter. If it's sitting like this, your calculator won't think it's in there yet, so make sure to push enter to get that last one in there. The next thing you're going to do is open a data and statistics page. So you can push Control Doc to open a new to open up this list too and get a new list to show, and it's data and statistics. And you'll just see a bunch of random dots. It might not look like mine. You're going to go down to the bottom of the the bar with your your cursor and where it turns into a plus sign and click, and then you'll see. Now I've got some other variables in here, but I'm going to put my month number as my x value. So it just shows the 12 months. Then you're going to go over to the left and click on that bar, and you're going to add temperature. And then you'll get the scatter plot that looks like this. Now you're actually ready to watch the other video and learn how to write the equation for this, for this graph. But let me show you then what you would do after you've written the equation. You're going to go to Menu, and you're going to go to Analyze and Plot Function. And it will open up a box in which you can type the equation for your function. So I'm going to go ahead and write um, the equation for this. So the pi here. The one disadvantage to this box is it doesn't always show. Um, it's hard to see the stuff to the right as you type. It eventually it kind of goes off the screen. So if you've typed everything incorrectly, then your graph should match your equation. Now, if you make a mistake, um, or if for some reason it looks funny, it might be that you've written the equation right, wrong, it might be that you typed it in wrong, or it might be that you are in degrees instead of radians. So make sure that when you're doing this, if you are in uh, accidentally in degrees instead of radians, you can go to Dock and go to Settings and Status and document settings and change your angle from degrees to radians then just uh, click OK actually you can just click enter and uh, then it will be fine sometimes it'll ask you do you want to make the make default I don't know what's going on with that you can enter default now if I lose my equation you can always just 
click on the, the bar, it'll make it dark again, and it will give you your equation. You can hover over any of these points, and it will tell you the coordinates of the points. Sometimes it's hard to see. I'm going to move this out of the way. So there's the coordinates of the different points. Okay. I think that's about all I need to tell you on this.